How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now, for you eagle eye out there, you're very close. The reason being, I've, I've come on holiday for a few days and I forgot me to bring my selfie stick. So I've got my arm outstretched. And that is the reason why. I had, I had a couple of jobs. One was to bring my mobile phone. The other, in fact, three jobs. The other was to bring myself. And the other was to bring me selfie stick, and I only got two of them right. So, if this video isn't as good as normal, um, and putting good with a video of any of mine is the wrong word for a start. Anyway, I've been shopping, I've been to the co-op. Come and have a look what I got. And here they are, we got a bit of the old uh, Roy's Rolls. I've seen this in the co-op. Um... And I thought, well, I'll just I'll, I'll get them anyway. It's a bit of a novelty, and we'll just see what they're like. Coronation Street Official Community Retail Partner, uh, Roy's Rolls, six soft white bread rolls, um, vegan, freezable, and a little traffic light system for the nutrition. So these were one pound and fifteen pence for six rolls. Now, if you're wondering, if you just sort of you've not watched the, the the video before and you've just tuned into this one you're wondering where i am i'm on holiday and i did a little bit of a caravan tour of this caravan in in the video before this one if you want to go and check it out um anyway i have not got my selfie stick like i said so it's hard work this is all going to be in one take but i will edit it so let's have a look at the nutritional information on here so we've gone around the back, there is some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that in more detail, then go ahead. Little bit of spiel there. Eh? Um, flour topped white bread rolls, ingredients. Uh, allergens are wheat. There are all the ingredients there. And more allergy advice there, including cereals containing gluten. See your ingredients in bowl, which we did. Also may contain egg and milk. Uh, more information. So the buns end it there, aren't they? It says they're packed in UK for co-op Manchester. Top tip, carefully slice open the rolls before freezing. That's a good idea, isn't it? Top tip, I like that. And then more home freezing there for best um, quality. Freeze as soon as possible and always within the best before date. Use within one month. And more information there. Right, let's get these open see what we have got. So let's get into these rolls. Now, um, Roy's Rolls. Who watches the old Coronation Street? I, I don't, I must, I must confess, but I have heard of, of Roy. I have watched it years and years and years ago. My grandma used to watch it. My grandma and granddad used to watch it. So, there they are. <laughs> it's a bun. What do you say where you live? We call them buns here, in Cumbria. Um, I know that this, wherever you live in the country, has a different name, doesn't it? Some people call them tea cakes, muffins, buns, cobs. We call them, oh, well, I call them a bun, you know. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut up, cut it open, get into it, and have a look. So if you're going to use a knife. Make sure you use a sharp knife and preferably a bread knife and not like one of these knives. <laughs> um, so it's nice and soft. It smells like a bun. It, I can't get over how soft it is. It's so soft. Now, I don't know anything about these. I don't I've not watched any reviews or anything. Nothing about it. Um, what I'll do, I'm going to cut it in half again, if that makes sense like that and then I'm going to eat I'm going to eat half and I'm going to butter half because you don't eat well you do actually some some people do just eat dry dry buns um so I'm just going to try it first without anything on it to see what it's like and if this is your sort of a video uh, maybe give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel I don't know if they're available any, in any other supermarket. I've just seen that they were uh, um, in the co-op and, and I've seen it on, 
on Instagram, I think. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Bald Foodie Guy. And it was on one of them. I was having a look and I seen it. So I thought I'd try it. <laughs> so let's try this now. It's a bun. It's very soft. And obviously it's going to be very, very dry and claggy without any sort of slippage, you know, slip butter or anything on it. But yeah, it's, it's okay. A flowery bap. A bap, that's another one, isn't it? Call them baps. Obviously there's the flower. But I'm going to get some butter on it. Maybe not that much. Maybe, maybe have to get the old um, aspirins out after this. So I'll stick a good bit of butter on. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stick a good bit of butter on. Can't beat a bit of butter, can you? A good bit of butter. Plenty of slippage juice. Help it go down. Well, that's enough anyway. I had the butter in the in the fridge, and it's rock hard. I had to zap it in the microwave for fifteen seconds. So I hope that's enough. Let's try it now. Mm. It does help having good butter. Mm, that is lovely. Mm. Not too sweet neither, the bun. Mm. So obviously there's a story behind this, isn't there? And I don't know the story. I don't know it. I don't watch Coronation Street. Rise rolls. Mmm. That is lovely. A buttery, a flowery buttery bun. Lovely. I wish you could tell the story. Obviously Roy's been cooking, hasn't he? He's been making some buns. Has he got a cafe or something like that? I think he has. Mm, that's nice. I'm going to stick a bit of butter on that. I don't recommend eating it dry like that. Sometimes, um, years and years ago, I used to go to Abbey Baths in Barrow. It's gone now. Knocked it down, unfortunately. And they built a, uh, a court there. Um, a new court. Where you go when you're naughty. And um, right across the road from it, there used to be um, like um, a cake shop confectionery and all that it's it's closed down now it's all boarded up it's a shame and i used to come out of there and i used to go in there and I used to get a couple of buns and i used to eat them dry and i'm talking go oh, when was that must be mid 80s um i must have been what i was born in 72 82 83 84 1984 85 and i was hungry so i used to nip over the road and used to get a couple of buns only small ones like that they were about six or seven pence a bun Probably less than that. And I used to eat it dry, waiting to get picked up. <laughs> I'm a very simple man, as you can tell. Mmm. They're lovely. What's that work out now? 19 pence. 19 pence a bun. 24, 68. Yeah, about 19 p. Or less than that, is it? I don't know. I'm not, not good at maths. Well, that's tasty. I recommend Roy's Rolls. Lovely. Yeah, nice and soft. They're fresh. Yeah, they're probably um, they're 9 out of 10. Yeah. In taste, they're all right. Not too doughy, not too claggy, not, not too sort of... Just, yeah, not too sweet. <laughs> I know I'm dragging this bun out, and I'm dragging a Roy's Rolls Coronation Street um, video out here, but never mind, I'm going now. So if, you, if you're wondering where I am, I'm on holiday. I have done a video for it. I've shown you the area and shown you the lovely, got a lovely view out there. We've pushed the boat out here with this one, this, this cabin. This is one of the nicest caravans I've ever, well, it is the nicest caravan I've ever stopped in. We're only here for a few nights. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, take care, all the best, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>